So what's up, YouTube? This is Josh coming at you. We got the GG Retro Box for the month of September 2024. Hold on tight. It's going to be a wild ride, baby. So welcome back, you guys. So like I said, we got the GG Retro Box for the month of September 2024. It's been a little bit of a weird month, to be honest with you, um, in general, and li life in general. But also with this box, there's been a little bit of a story that goes along with this box. This is month number two for the GG Retro Box. Um, we will see what is inside of this. Hopefully, it's pretty good because it's, like I said, there's a little bit of a story that goes along with it. The beer we have right here um, is one that comes to us from my boys up close to home my, my favorite one and i shout out all the time when i can we got brewery fire tawny town maryland right here and we've got a video game themed uh can art anyway we got tears of the Rydom with a little bit of a uh, beautiful beautiful can art this one right here is a rye ale so something a little bit different um hopefully it'll be good i have i have not actually had this one um yet so we got the rye ale it's 4.25 percent abv so um let's see let's see brewery fire tawny town maryland Check them out if you're ever in the area and let me know so we can hang out. Pretty, pretty good smell to it. Different with the nose. All right, let's get into the, let's get into it, see what it tastes like. It's different. It's good. I mean, it's very, very smooth. It's kind of cr got a very crisp kind of flavor to it. I'm, I'm, my palate is IPAs, right? I like IPAs and probably stouts and porters are probably my second favorite of any type of beer. So anything else after that, it's kind of like, you know, it's, it's, it's all different to taste. It's not bad at all. If you guys like something that's kind of clean and crisp, it's kind of, kind of gives me like a vibe of like a, uh, of like a, almost like a Bach or something like that because of how, how it tastes. It's just clean, like crisp like that. Maybe something of that nature. Pretty solid though. I'm not a beer connoisseur. I just like to drink beer. That's all there is to it. It's like beer and video games. That's why uh, we do this channel, right? <laughs> all right, let's get back over to the to the GG Retro Box. So like I said, second month I'm doing this service. Um, if you guys watched the video last month, kind of explained a little bit about it. Uh, the service has two tiers. They have a $65 a month um, flat rate. No, nothing added on to it for shipping. So if you pay 65 bucks, you get three to five games in a box. Um, they guarantee the value. They guarantee that you're going to get your 65 bucks back out of the value. Um, they also have a higher tier, uh, which is like 99 bucks. So let's say hundred bucks a month, right? And uh, with that one, they guarantee that they're gonna curate you complete in box games. Last month, I had a pretty good uh, pretty good box. There was a uh, one double that was in the box last month, but it was because, I explained it, go watch the video. I'll, 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 I'll card it up here. But anyway, it, was, it wasn't a big deal with it because it was something that, that I had a double of, but I had a sealed copy. So it became a player copy for me. But uh, let's see what we have in this. We have three. We have three systems selected for this. So that's where the story comes into it. So um, at the beginning of the month, when I was seeing that everybody was going to start uh, getting their uh, their boxes for these to start shipping, I started seeing a couple unboxings, and I got an email. I didn't get a box. They said, "Hey, there's a delay in your box because the systems that you have selected uh, were having problems sourcing games for your system." So I had three systems selected, which was Wii U, original Nintendo, and Nintendo 64. Kind of the same boat that I was in, a, 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 like last year, I guess the end of last year with VGM. They they had emailed me and said, "Hey, you got, you, we're having problems with getting games for your system because you got such a large collection." Same thing here. I kind of was hoping that it was gonna, it would last a little bit, but it was basically one month. They they did it did all right last month with it. This month they said that you need to to make some selection changes. Um, so I went on, I added some other systems to the syst to those three systems and added my library for all those systems in to just try something different. Um, it looked like, the, so from all the unboxings I've watched for this service, they look like they do some, and plus what I got last month in my first box, they do some pretty quality boxes. So uh, I didn't have a problem doing that. I added GameCube, I added Sega Genesis, I added Sega Master System um, to that. I believe that was it. There was a couple others that I inputted my my uh, systems that I, my collection in on, but I didn't um, select them at this point. I think it was Super Nintendo and Xbox. But anyway, so the box should have Nintendo, or Nintendo 64, Wii U, Sega Genesis, Sega Master System, or GameCube games in the box. So, pretty solid. No rattle going on there with it. Let's see what we have in the box. The first thing out is the uh, the uh, Join the Mega Cat Studios uh, Discord. That was the same little flyer that was in there last month. Feel like a good hunk of chunk of uh, bubble wrap in here. So. There was a delay in getting the box sent to me after that. I, it was like uh, probably like two weeks 
uh, after everybody else was getting their box before they they sent mine out so let me see what i'm feeling in here i'm feeling i feel an n64 game on top feels like an original nintendo game here too and then i feel a couple cases i can't really make out what kind of cases they are let's just go right from the top what do we got for the first game we have a uh well that there is a great game in beetle adventure racing unfortunately beetle adventure racing is a duplicate so um cherry shape though for sure i might even be better than the copy that i have to be honest with you but a uh, fantastic racing game unfortunately it's a duplicate for me but uh it's definitely one of the better better racing games on the n64 all right let's reach back in here and see what we got with the second game the original nintendo game the back looks pretty good what do we have oh man i already know i have this game for sure you guys know i have this game we got ducktales here the uh, first one now it couldn't have been the second one which i have as well but it would have been a nice duplicate to get right but uh, i mean the, the cart is in beautiful condition um it looks there's not there's not a flaw on it but once again it, you know i already have it fantastic game if you guys have never played ducktales um hit me up we, we can make a trade or something like that we get this in your hand because it's one of the for me it's one of the best games on the on the original nes but uh some folks disagree but i think it's it's fantastic i love it i play i usually play through that game probably like once every year or so i've had that in my collection forever all right so we got a wii u game i can see by the blue of the case what do we got here we've got lego batman dc superheroes now for the wii u this is also a duplicate unfortunately i have this one as well um not complete missing the manual the uh it's got the disc in the, in the original case but and that sucks um the lego games are awesome the lego batman games are are great right along with them man three duplicates can we get one out of this box at least it feels like there's one more in here hopefully this isn't a duplicate too all right so what we got here we have a uh we have a case that's a generic case it says on the side that batman vengeance is inside we have a gamecube game a loose gamecube game that kind of blows not gonna lie let's see the uh, the the disc itself looks like it's in horrible the top of the disc that doesn't look i don't want maybe i should shouldn't say horrible it doesn't look like it's in great shape as you can see it's got a little bit of of wear on it um the back of it doesn't look too bad i don't know um, it's got some scuffage but not not horrible not horrible in that regard hopefully it'll be playable um i'll put up here if it is or not but that one i do not have so obviously they got my uh changes that i made because they sent me a gamecube game and i didn't have that selected prior to doing that um i don't understand why i got three out of four duplicates in the box though after i went through all that to add some systems and add all that stuff into their system i'm going to contact them we will see what happens with that and um i'll cut it in here if they if they get back with me in time uh... all right so fast forward a couple days in the future uh actually only a couple days before the end of the month so how close this box was to not getting in we did get a replacement box from gg retro box uh some badass art it really is some cool art on these boxes but we want to see what's inside of this correct you know to see if they made it right with all the dupes that we had in the first box and just a lot of confusion with this month's box all in all they did um i, I emailed them a couple times and i'm like why aren't they responding back to me because it took them a couple of days to respond to me um but then finally they're like hey we did get your email um we're looking into it i shot them a picture of the the box that i received that you guys just saw and then they like said hey we're sending you a box a replacement box sorry about everything this month so here's the replacement box um let's uh get into it and see what's inside of it like i said i did make some changes to the systems that are selected so this should have been a little easier for them this go around um a lot of paper in here to can't get a good feel for what is uh exactly inside i feel an n64 game though oh no no i'm sorry this is a uh it's a sega genesis game i forgot that's one of the, the systems i changed over to so we have <laughs> a game that i already have i know for a fact i actually have an arcade one-up of this and i have it on uh super nintendo or something like that but i guess nba game my bad should have put that on the list i guess right uh but it isn't a duplicate for uh, i don't have it for sega genesis so it feels like i got two other games in here as well so they they made good on the three games that were uh that they sent that were duplicates these both feel like they're in cases so i'm it should be gamecube games so let's see what we have going on here oh my god unbelievable uh paper mario the thousand year door <laughs> oh man this is actually a duplicate but i don't actually honestly know if it's on the list because i haven't even put the video out yet but i made a trade with someone 
and got a copy of this on the GameCube. But wow, what a game to get a, a duplicate of. Nonetheless, very cool. It's a complete copy you guys saw, so, and it's a great game. So the other one is also a GameCube game, and we got ourselves The Incredibles. Now, I don't know anything about this game on uh, the GameCube. This is a, a complete copy, so very, very cool. Um, two complete GameCube games and a uh, loose Sega Genesis cartridge. So this one here, though, anyway, going back to The Incredibles, um, I played this one on the on the Game Boy Advance. Actually, it's not a bad little game on the Game Boy Advance. So I don't know. Maybe it's a maybe it's a cool game here on the uh, GameCube as well. So not too bad, I guess, for replacements. It's just hysterical that that. Uh, I mean, that's the kind of luck I guess that I've had out of this box uh, this month. Anyhow, not their fault at all in that regard because they don't know. And I actually don't remember if I put that that stuff that I had literally just got a few days back in a trade with somebody um, on my list. So. Anyhow, uh, there's the GG Retro box for the month. The first box that they sent along that had the dupes, it made the value. Um, we'll throw the, the extra value for the games that, that they replaced with it up here. And you guys can tell me what you think of the service. Uh, it's already renewed, so we're definitely getting one more month. Well, hopefully next month it'll be a little bit smoother sailing. Um, and like I said, the ones I've seen, and if this had been like the first box with the one game that I didn't have from the first one, wouldn't have been half bad. But um you know, the, the ones I've watched, they've been good too. So it seems like it could be a promising service. Um, I like doing these these uh, mystery boxes. You guys do that for sure. But anyhow, everybody, you guys, everybody out there, take care of yourself. And until next time, cheers.